was videotaped talking about her faith and by Campus Crusade for Christ before she died. And Campus Crusade created a video after she died called The Heart to Change, the Stacey Stevens story. And I have several videos. I'd love to give everyone a copy because this is an amazing video. Even if you don't have any religion, it's an amazing video. Um, another thing that's really cool is Stacy's band teacher was so affected by her her story and how it just happened so quick that she wrote a book about about her faith, about um, Heather Harding's faith, and how Stacy began began her story. So it's like with I'm kind of seeing the whole complete different direction with the Myocarditis Foundation with the book where this whole other ministry can be myocarditis. And um, so I have copies of these books if you guys would like it, they're free too. And then we have stickers um, made up. And the other thing is this, this um, video was written by um, Campus Crusade, they're a Christian background, but they presented it to a board. There's like a thing called the Telly Awards, which is this. And it's, um, there's a whole bunch of panel of judges that watch all different kind of random videos. They're not um, like ABC or CBS videos, but they're like your PBS ones or your community colleges or your colleges put together videos. And it won the silver telling, which there's like gold, silver, and bronze. And you have to get a nine or a 10 rating from all the judges. And so I have like the silver telling to this award that this, um, video got, which is really neat too. And then the other thing that I found, and this is all stuff I just found in like eight years because it drove me crazy not knowing much about myocarditis. So I wanted to start a nonprofit because um, I knew I wanted to support the myocarditis in some way, shape, or form. But I also wanted to, I wanted to um, support Stacy's mission and Stacy's unique ministry. So I found this, um, Aretha Olivares, she had a class, it was like $50, and this book was like $30, and I started a nonprofit in less than six weeks, filled out the, it's the, lar the longest IRS form, <laughs> it's like 40 pages, but thank God a lot of it's not applicable, you know, <laughs> but I mean it's still, <laughs> but so like, I've established, I'm, I'm incorporated, which I can't believe that. I'm in a corporation and I'm a nonprofit, and so when you donate, and you have to explain this to kids, because I talk to a lot of kids, they don't understand. If you're a nonprofit organization and you donate, they can write it off on their taxes. And so, like, that's the importance of being a nonprofit. So, if anybody's interested in starting a nonprofit, this is. Our, our foundation will purchase this book and get you guys started at any time. So, um, I think I might be done, but let me see. Because I know we're. We've got to hurry. Let me see. Um, oh, and. Oh, the other thing I wanted, I wanted to go back to the myocarditis thing. This is the ADHD in me. The, um, the myocarditis. The problem that I have is that when we went to that walk-in clinic on um, on Saturday afternoon, and they had a problem with the blood pressure, they didn't tell me to go to the emergency room. And I'm not a doctor, that's why I'm here. And I rely on doctors and emergency room people and all the physicians and them to tell me what I should do. And they didn't tell me, take her to the emergency room, they sent us home. And so, I think if there was an awareness, especially in the walking clinics, like these walking clinics at Walmart are scaring the hell out of me. Because you could go into Walmart, a Walmart physician clinic thinking, oh, you know, I just got the flu, and you could just like die right there. And so, so, I just think that the, um, what they did was they took that last, they took that last 14 hours away from me. 
I know that she probably wouldn't have survived. Maybe she would have on an ECMO. But I just know that what they did was they took that last 12 hours away from me. I mean, because you literally, Sunday morning, we walked, we, she like died right there at the hospital. So I just think that if there was more awareness, more, maybe like a white paper or a, you know, a quick fact sheet or something that gets distributed to every ER or walking clinic or anything that we can do just to get them, you know, maybe it might be too late their heart's too damaged, but you would have those 12 or 14 hours or 16 hours left that you could at least spend with them, you know, because I didn't have that. So, and I'm thankful to, you know, you guys. <laughs>